We got boat number nine into way in. They got a good bag, it looks like. A good bag, folks. This could be a new leader. Let's see. Glenn and Troy, they've got some fat ones, folks. Glenn and Troy have got some fat fish. The leader is 1369 right now. Let's see where they end up here. for Glenn and Troy. That is a new leader. Northern Mantable Walleye Championship. What a great, that was a great bag. But anyway, it's not official until they sign. It won't count. And we're, we're gonna get some pictures. Hold on, hold on, runner, hold on. We're gonna get a picture. Yeah. Okay, Glenn and Troy, we're gonna get a picture with those. Both number 13, Ed Daniluk and Doug Corman into way. How was the day, Ed? It was good. It was tough out there. Okay. Uh, probably the worst day of fishing I had this summer. It, it was tough out there today. You, you picked the wrong time to have your worst day on the trip. I got a 21 right at the end. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, hold on a second. Boat number? Uh, 27. 27. Right here, boys. Right here. Coming in hot. How'd you go today, Robbie? Good. How you doing, man? Not bad.
Another pit batch coming in here. Omar, how'd you guys do? What's your boat number, guys? Hey, what's your boat? Boat? Over 42. 
Four two. Four two. Off, Albert. It's your boat.
Hey boys, one more here. 18. One more guy. <laughs> no, that's understandable. <laughs> Team 33? Yep. How many fish you got? Uh, we weighed five earlier. Right here, right here. One more. Right here, right here. Right here. 30. Oh, sorry. 33 is the penalty. There's a penalty. Yeah. Penalty. Yeah. 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 Y
13.95. Unofficial weight of 13.95, unofficial weight for both number three. Two thousand seventeen Northern Manitoba Walleye Championship. Welcome, Shaw TV. Thanks for coming out. We're almost on the way here. We have about uh, eight or so boats left to go. We got another bag coming here. Nice one. This is a nice basket coming in. Leading boat right now is boat number nine at sixteen point one two. Twelve point six pounds for Wayne. No, just keep it high. Just keep it high. Yeah. Eric LeBeau Pierre, 2017 Northern Manitoba Walleye Championship. We'd like to thank our sponsors: Alumacraft Boats, Nickel City Motors, Evan Root. Paint Lake Lodge, Kathy and Barry at Paint Lake Lodge, thank you very much for all your help. We've got Calm Air, thank you so much to Calm Air, Thompson Storage, Cabela's, Hummingbird, Minn Kota. A lot of people, uh, all the volunteers, we got the AAA Norman North Stars. Give it up for Norman North Stars. They're working hard here, you'll see them all over the place volunteering, we couldn't do it without them either. We've got another basket coming in here, right over here, sir. How many boats left, Jeff? How many boats over there? We're almost done here at the 2017 Northern Manitoba Walleye Championship. We got a whole crowd here watching the last few boats weigh in. Leading team right now is uh, over over 16 pounds. 950, that boat over there. So we'd like to thank our sponsors once again, Alubacraft Boats, Nickel City Motors, and Evan Root donated the first place prize, over $10,000 boat package. Cabela's, Hummingbird, Minn Kota helped out big time. Paint Lake Lodge for all their support. Thompson Storage, The Brick. We've also got, who else helped us out here, do you know? Bob's Towing. Bob's Towing is big, man. Pound over to that banner over there. Bob's Towing is awarding the Mix, mix Team Award of a $1,000 to the top mixed team. There were 13 teams that were mixed teams, male, female. We actually had one all-female team. Thompson Storage, Devin Gurniak. Yeah. Thompson, Thompson Storage. Storage, Devin Gurniak. So we're almost done here. How many more boats? we got a few more coming up the dock here, and I think that is it. How many fish total so far? So we've got a total of 189 walleyes brought to the scale so far with a handful more limits to go. How's it going, Dave? How are you finding this, man? How's the win? Awesome, awesome. Big fish, big fish. Awesome. Nice, healthy fish. They're strong. Guys have just hammered them from all over the lake. It's awesome. Nice work. Awesome stuff. And we're having a great time here at Paint Lake, Paint Lake Lodge. Paint Lake Provincial Park, thank you very much.
Boat number six going to the scales. Jason Cross and Valerie Hildebrand. What's the boat number? Two? Just at the end of the table. Yeah. Which one? Aaron, you're boat number two? We got boat number three, Darren Zipric and Cooper Zipric. Get over here, get in there, Cooper. They are the top youth team of the tournament. They were the only youth team in the tournament, but they still get the top award for that. Look at that, look at that, there you go. Cooper, look at the camera. Yeah, I'm gonna get a picture. How was that? How was fishing today? Good. Did you catch any fish? Yes. How many did you catch? You were dead. You caught the six fish? Yes. <laughs> That's awesome stuff. <laughs> What's your favorite hat now? What's your favorite hat? <laughs> He's shy. <laughs> give it up. Give it up for Cooper Zipper. You're the youngest, youngest competitor in the tournament today. You know you're going to have to the championship. It's awesome stuff. Okay, we got another basket coming to the scales. Boat number 17 coming to the scales. Pierce and Wade Roberts. Just one person just waiting for the truck. 11.78, 11 11.78 11 for both numbers 17, Pierce and Wade. Both number 10 is next up to the scales. Chris Lamy and Carly McLaughlin. They might challenge for that mixed team award here. Looks like a nice basket. Seven, seven. That's a great basket of fish right there. 
Good job, guys. We need fish releasers. No stars, fish releasers. Oh, we got one guy here right now, actually. Come over here, and we're going to talk to Shaw TV here. How was fishing today, Chris? It was pretty tough. Pretty tough in the wind. It's tough fishing in the wind, he says, but you guys had a good bag, actually. It's not too bad. Nice work. We're going to get those fish back in the water. Where's your partner? She's in the boat. Did you catch all the fish? She did. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. We're going to get those released. No stars. Get that back in the water. Nice work. Oh. Boat number 37, next up to the scales. Wayne Landers, Thomas Crowley. Looks like a decent basket of fish as well. Five fish, they left one in the lake. Eleven zero four for Thomas and Wayne, and I believe this is the last boat now. Up to the scales, boat twenty six. Any more boats, Jeff? No stars. Who's the no stars out of the pier? Can I get that master list? No stars. Where's that paper list? That guy. There he is. He has it right there. Every boat checked in already? Three boats didn't come through? Let's see. Which ones? Huh? So which ones didn't come here? 40? Okay. 40, 45, and 14. And the ones with the stars on them, on them are supposedly the ones I'm doing this trip. Oh, okay. Sounds good. That wraps up the weigh-in. All the boats have weighed in. We had about, what, eight, nine boats that caught zero. So they didn't come to the scales. We're done. Thanks again to our sponsors, Alumacraft, Nickel City Motors, and Evan Rood for the donations and the Paint Lake Lodge. And Hummingbird, Minn Kota, And Thompson Storage, Bob's Auto. Thank you so much, Bob's Auto. And we got the AAA Norman North Stars here. Thanks for all your help. We're going to present you guys with something in a sec here. But that that concludes the weigh-in, and we are going to calculate now. We're going to announce some winners and awards in a little bit. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> we want to say thank you to Paint Lake Resort for helping us out, having it here. All the hard work that Barry, everyone put in here at Paint Lake, all the help he did on the dock. Well, he fished, actually. His wife did most of the work today. Kathy was a trooper and much easier to deal with than Barry, but that's okay. Hey, Barry, sorry, buddy. But anyways, I hope that you guys had a good time today. We tried to uh, be lenient on some of the rules, but also impose them the best we can. And I know, unfortunately, that didn't go so well for some people, but you know what? It was a fantastic tournament. Over 200 fish caught. 
only 16 uh, fish couldn't be released. So that's a pretty good, pretty good number, you know. Uh, we're pretty happy with that. It's our first year, so we're going to make some changes for next year. I know that's the buzz. Are we going to be back next year? That is the plan. We want to make this a yearly event and come up to Thompson. So we're going to do everything in our power to make that happen. And, you know, please, if you guys have any recommendations for us after today on what you guys want to see or what you think we can improve on, please let us know. If I don't listen, tell Eric, because I probably won't. But let us know anyways. So from now, I'm going to hand the mic over to Eric, who's going to announce all the prizes and take it from there. Thank you, Dino. Thank you. Still got roast beef in my mouth there. It really was good, by the way. Dino called it the Paint Lake uh, Resort. It's Paint Lake Lodge. Paint Lake Lodge, Dino. We got to get the marketing right there. Thank you. Thank you. Before anything, I'd like to... How's that going? That, that's going better? Yeah? Good? We got to thank our sponsors, guys. This doesn't happen without sponsors. It doesn't happen without the hard work, hard work of Dino. Oh, I'm going to pat myself on the back, man. Nick worked our ass off here. I'm dying. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm going to knock down six beers here right away. I'm sure of it. I'm tired. But we got sponsors that really helped out. And we had major sponsors here. So I'd like to thank them, please, so I can take the time here. Uh, Calm Air really stepped up here. Thank you, Calm Air. Bob's Towing. Round of applause. Thank you, Bob's Towing as well. Really stepped up. He's in Saskatchewan right now watching his racehorse. He couldn't make it kind of thing. That was more important, apparently. So we're going to cut ties with Bob's Towing now. But thank you this year. Thank you so much. Paint Lake Lodge. We love the people here at Paint Lake Lodge. Thank you so much. Kathy, Barry Trout, all the people working here. Thank you so much. Uh, Nickel City Motors in Thompson. Thank you, Nickel City Motors, so much. Christine is here for all your help. Thank you so much, Nickel City. Now, all you guys now, if you guys had boats, boats that didn't have live wells and you had like these uh, contraptions or whatever, you know where to go get a boat that has a real live well now, guys. You get this tournament bug. That's where you're going to go get them. Uh, Alumacraft Boats. Thank you to Alumacraft as well for all your support. Thank you. And Evan Rood Motors. Thank you so much. We had other sponsors as well. We had Cabela's in Winnipeg. If you guys are in town, come on down there. Uh, if you're in there, I'm doing a seminar next uh, Sunday, actually, after I come back to Saskatchewan. Jason Cross is going to be there. I'm going to throw him a prize. Ask some good questions, man. Make me look good, Jason, please. Darren, I'm counting on you. You live in Winnipeg, too, near there. I'm going to see you there as well. Humminbird, Minn Kota. Thank you to Humminbird, Minn Kota. They really stepped up. Thank you so much. Thompson Storage. Devin Gurnack donated the beautiful trophies here. Even the one that broke over there yesterday, Devin Gurnack donated those. Thank you so much to Thompson Storage. And uh, thank you to Kickerfish as well. Kickerfish is uh, like, a, you know, we worked hard here or whatever. Check out the website. All the results will be up on Kickerfish. They're not yet. If you did, you checked it out. They will. And uh, Kickerfish on our YouTube channel, we're going to make a video of this and uh, we'll get you guys in there. There's going to be a lot of kids in there. Thank you to the AAA North Star. They're all over it. They had their shirts up and they were swimming out there. And thank you to them. Yeah, they worked hard. They tried. They tried their best. I had them out at the end at the far pier. It sort of worked. They had walkie-talkies. I mean, you, like, they, they're like squirrels, man. They saw fish floating, and they all dived into it, all 20 kids, man. Like, just, they're all a bunch of goons, man. But they're awesome stuff. We raised money for all those guys. We presented them with a check. They said thank you, by the way. That was from everyone who competed here, everyone who bought a card yesterday. So thank you so much to you guys. We presented them with a check for $1,040. I don't know what they're going to use it for. They're going to have a pizza party or something like that. They can't drink, so they're going to travel somewhere and compete. Uh, special thanks to Paint Lake Provincial Park for letting us have it here in the Provincial Park here. Uh, Department of Sustainable Development helped out as well with uh, telling me what to do and how not to do things or whatever. So I don't know if that's really helped. I'll just mention them anyways. Awesome stuff. Department <laughs> Conservation Officers, we didn't see them today. AAA Norman North Stars. Uh, big special thanks here to uh, some of our volunteers here. We got uh, Scott Bellarjean. Is he around here? Did you get some food? Scott, he went hiding somewhere, but he helped out on the side there with our stress fish station he helped out big time there running he had a group of kids and he helped them helped out big time so thank you to scott uh, thank you to jeff matthias who came up from winnipeg with us here thank you jeff as well and thank you to Barry and kathy uh no not Barry. Ka thank you to kathy helped out there we always make on the mic round of applause for those guys they really helped out big time kind of thing awesome stuff here is scott around where is scott he ran out right I saw him go into his room over there. I got, I got something for Kathy as well and Scott. J uh, Dino, can you grab it? Those two sweat, a sweater there. Kathy, where's Kathy? Right here, right in the front, Dino, right in the front here. 
I know she got jealous. I gave Jason and Barry an Illumicraft hat yesterday, and she <laughs> she was so mad. This is a la lady shirt, ladies kicker fish t-shirt. There, these are limited edition, limited edition, yeah. Kathy. There you go, size small, extra small. Yes, look at that. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you so awesome. much for all your help. Perfect. A round of applause, Scott. We got Scott a sweater. You wherever Scott is, wherever he is, smaller yeah. for me, Ty. He's a shy guy. Uh, a couple stats, there was 211 total fish brought to the scale today, 211 fish. That's 389.49 uh, pounds of total weight. Uh, like Dino mentioned earlier, we did have six, six that are no longer with us, uh, sorry to say, six, 16, so, so 16 that didn't, that didn't make it. The kids were tried really hard to revive them. Um, like even if you were catching your fish in 19 feet, for example, but if right next to you, three boat lengths over, is 50 feet of water, the fish could have came from there, you know? So a lot of it was these bladders kind of thing. A lot, like, I mean, a lot of you guys, you said it's your first tournament. Four years ago, I did my first walleye tournament. I didn't know all this other stuff either. Not that you guys don't know stuff, but, like, guys were asking for advice all day. In my tackle box, I will have fin weights. Fin weights won't really help the bladder thing, but they will help stress on fish and keep them upright. And actually, it does work. After a while, half an hour, it's good to go again. You could release them. Fin weights, some guys do fizzing. You could try fizzing them. I don't or whatever. Some guys can. That helps with bladder and that could help. Like, there's different tips that you could do. Uh, having your uh, working live well. There's this one team, these young guys came in. I don't know if they're here. They came in. I think our live well's running and there was nothing going on in there and the valve was closed or whatever. We helped them out or whatever. So just knowing how your boat works or your dad's boat works anyway. <laughs> they always, that was a, there was a consultation fee on that one there. Wherever that, that's why they didn't come here. They owe me a beer, those guys. But there's lots of things that you like. I mean, the more tournaments you do, the more you learn strategy. Maybe don't fish so far, just fish around the corner kind of thing and don't go 20 miles away if, uh, if <laughs> where the fish are. But there's a lot of stuff, it's fun. Everyone had fun though? Did you guys have fun doing this tournament though? Like I, I was so jealous this morning, man. I wanted, like when calling these boat numbers out, I wanted to jump in a boat and just like go out and compete too because the juices get going. It's so exciting when they call your number out, you know, like it's boat number five and get out there kind of thing. So at the end, it was relatively smooth. I mean, it's not too bad. People started coming in early. Yeah, like I would say maximize it. I cut it down to the, we count how many minutes it takes to get to our furthest spot and we come right back and we, we, we take every minute that they give us or whatever. But guys were coming in early, which is good because they had stress fish and stuff like that. And, and it actually made it easier for us because it just made the, the weigh-ins not so congested or whatever. So that was good stuff. Good job on everyone's part. No one would know. If you were watching this and we make a video, you wouldn't think that this was a first time tournament. It looked like everyone's a veteran here and it's like this is like the, it truly is the Northern Manitoba Walleye Championship. So that was great. Uh, we have prizes now, and we got checks. My lovely wife there has checks. You have checks on here kind of thing as well? Do you want to draw? We have nothing. Like someone was asking if we're going to do draw prizes. We got nothing left. We gave a whole bunch of stuff away. In a way. We have nothing left to draw. What we do have left to draw is an uh, is, uh, entry, free entry to next year. Well, not a free. You're gonna, if you want to buy a ticket, I got a deck of cards here. We could do that if you want to do it. Five minute break here, $20, tw a free entry to next year. If I sell the whole deck, we'll do two entries, Dino said here, two, there's a, there's a capo here, the Italian, give me the Italian signal there, two, whatever. But yeah, if you guys want to, it's a free entry. We are raising it to $2,500 entry next year, so it will be worth something. So that's a good thing if you guys want to do that or whatever. <laughs> Barry, I'll throw these at you, man. Can you, Barry, you earned your volunteer appreciation there. Can you uh, collect that first? If you guys want to do that, we'll, we'll, we'll draw something right away. And then we're going to give some stuff out here. Thank you. We are looking at, I mean, like Dino said, if you guys have any suggestions or whatever, we're not going to listen to it anyway because I'm going to do things how I want anyway. But if you have tips and stuff like that, like whatever, I, I mean, we're looking at raising it to $300. That's the going rate for a one-day tournament. We've considered maybe doing a two-day tournament up here. We think the lake can handle it. Maybe there's an interest for it. Nothing is set in stone. We, what is set in stone is we do want to come back. I mean, this was a good time. I love the town of Thompson kind of thing. Like, it's, it's, like this was fabulous. I, I, if I can find someone to, to run this thing, I, I swear to God, I'm going to compete next year. I want to. There's no conflict of interest. I, I want to compete. I want to get out there. Apparently, there's fish out here. And uh, my wife said, don't even look at her or whatever. So we'll, uh, we'll recruit some other Filipino guy to come up. Okay. Kind of thing. If you want a ticket, raise your hand. If you have $20 cash and get into the draw, that would be awesome. Dino's got tickets here, and some of the ladies here will draw it out. We'll do a little game. Uh, like, so we got 10 prizes here. We got mixed team that we're going to award out. Mystery weight. And we got the top youth award as well. 
like Dino said, we did have a couple. We, we had stress fish. How many, like our, our, our doc judge, how many stress fish penalties did we give out? Four? I think it was four total. If you got a stressed fish penalty, we gave it every chance, like to, like to touch that fish and have it, have it, have it. Like, if you touch the fish and you flip, we open the live well and it's upside down. We we make it right side up and if it swims around, it's got lots of energy. We know for a fact that like after a few minutes that will go upside down again. But it's got a chance if we baby it, we fin weight it, we have a fresh water tank that it could recover. It is a penalty in in the well. Uh, we had no dead dead fish that came in dead. We didn't have any of that, which was good. We did have two disqualifications at the scale, which was unfortunate or whatever. A lot of it is just like, and, and don't feel bad if you're here or not. Like, like I've been disqualified myself once and I've had stress fish penalties at five different tournaments, whatever it happens. Sometimes you cut it close. Sometimes you're not on a lot of fish and you've got a fish that's very close to whatever slot it is. In this case, it was 55 centimeters. You take the chance or whatever, because it's a good fish. And if you're not on a lot, you take the chance with it and you risk it. But if it's, if it's over, it's over kind of thing. Uh, another team had seven fish. That was just sort of a mistake there. Like, uh, hopefully they weren't drinking in the boat or something. But they had seven fish. It's a six fish tournament. You can't have the seven. Like we could. I mean, that was that's unfortunate as well. And they had a good weight without that seven fish. They had a really good bag. Uh, guys were asking for fish additives in the live wells. Yes, by all means, use those kind of thing. I think if you use them in the live wells, that keeps them fresh and have a lot of energy for uh, for weighing. Anything else here? They're all selling tickets. Like I said, the food was great again. Thank you to Charles. We had one youth team. We had 13 mixed teams. I can tell you the fifth place, the fifth place mixed team. There were 13 altogether. Fifth place mixed team was 11.38 pounds. 11.38 was fifth place for mixed team. That was Glenn Bickle and Glenda Flett. So fourth, third, second, and first were, were above that. The winning mixed team, which I'm going to renounce in any second here now, uh, they came in at 11.30. The winning mixed team here came in at 11.30 and weighed some fish. They had six fish in the well. And uh, one of the partners said, okay, we're done. Let's, uh, we're out of here. Uh, let's, let's load the board up. We got six. And the other one said, I think we should go back out and we could improve on these or whatever. And this is our first tournament. We don't know kind of thing. We can't tell you guys what to do. But if I were you guys, I'd fish, like I said, right till 345 or 340 or wherever is like how it takes me to get back. Like, like, it's not like you have giant fish in there like the other three. So they did go back and apparently it paid off because they did improve on their weight at the end of the day. Uh, last call on these cards here. I'm going to draw it right away so I can give some stuff away. You can hear this good, Paul. It's all good to go on the thing, yeah. So Shaw TV wasn't live. I was mistaken on this. I thought I was saying it was live. I told everyone in Winnipeg this morning, stream it, whatever it is, man. Go on the internet and stream. It's going to be live. And then I had my phone blew up and saying that it's not. And uh, it, it'll be on tape delay here, but we're going to get a video out there on, on their YouTube. And I'm going to get a video out as soon as I can as well for promo for next year. So that'll be great. Maybe get your, your, your good looking mugs in, in the video somewhere. All right, so everyone who has a card. But I'm gonna draw, Dino, soon, yeah? Everyone who has a card, we'll just do this, like, this, this is a good game, everyone. That way when you go to another tournament that does this, you, you look like you know what you're doing, kind of thing. Yeah, I got the youngest angler here, yeah. Oh, it's called a Cooper Ziprick. Cooper, are you there? You were the star of the show, buddy. He had a big round of applause at the scale. The youngest angler in the tournament, Cooper Ziprick. Get over here, Cooper. So everyone who bought a card, thank you so much for buying a card. This is a free entry to next year. Stand up, please, if you have a card. Stand up where you are. Just, ha just, just stand up, stand up, stand up wherever you are. If you have a card. And the last person standing is going gonna, is gonna to win this thing. So it's a, it's a test of endurance here. We're just going to chill all night while I drink. We want to make sure everyone's fairly into this draw. Okay. He's gone, oh, he's got, oh, yeah, yeah. no one saw it at least. Cooper, how old are you? Cooper, come over here, come over here. You come over here. How old are you, Cooper? Can you freeze the drawing? What? How Elder? old are you? That's it. Five. Are you seriously five? Oh my God, my daughter's 11 years old and she's half your size. There's Filipino genes, it's a white kid, that's why. Nice. Who caught all the fish today? What? 
Who caught all the fish? Me. You did. I know. You told me that. Then that's not a lie. You caught all the fish today, didn't you? Are you, are you going to be back next year? Yes. Awesome stuff, man. Have your mom as the partner instead. You'll do better. What? No, he doesn't want to answer that. No comment. I'm sorry. Man. Okay, you're going to draw this out here. Okay. Don't show anybody. Don't Only show one. anybody. Only one. Oh, yeah. good job. Good job. Okay, come on. Right come on. Keep the secret. I'm going to take it from you. Well done. Good job. Big round of applause for Cooper Ziprick again, guys. This is a star in the making here. He's a rising star. Okay, so I'm going to look at this card here. I, I know what it is right now. Everyone's standing who bought a card. But if your legs are tired and you have a red card, you might as well sit down. If you have a red card, sit down. You did not win a red card. Now, if you have, if you have spades, if your card is a spade, you can stay standing. All you clubs, sit down, have a seat. Not, it's not a club. So everyone, who's left here? Who's left here over here? The cool guys in the back, then they, 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 oh yeah, well, Wayne, Wayne's got one over there. Wayne Landers has a ticket. Guys are still standing. If you have a face card, so a face card and an ace, you can sit down as well. He did not win, sorry. Yeah. Anyone standing back over here? Oh, so if you have a face card, that's a spade. So you have a spade that is a digit. So we're talking two to nine, you're good to go. But if your digit, let's, let's do some calculus in here and see who's gonna stay standing here. Like, oh no, I'm just kidding. We're gonna go like, if, you're, if yours is higher than five, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, sit down. You did not win, no. Have a seat. So that means all we got left is the two, the three, and the four. Is someone in there? Nope. Someone out here? Everyone's oh, everyone's in this room, the cool lounge. Okay. Right so this 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 is a this is a twenty-five hundred dollar prize free entry to next year. For your part, you can still collect your the, the entry fee from your partner. You can you know yeah, he's the other half for beer. If you have, if you have the three, you sit down. You lost. The three's lost. So that was in between. So this is either, okay. <laughs> Free entry to next year. Are you local, sir? Are you, what's your name? Well, they want to split it. Too bad. They can't split it or whatever. You're local? And he's from Winnipeg, south of Winnipeg. Winkler? Oh, he got that Mennonite money or whatever. He traveled. If you have the two of spades, you won. It's a two of spades. And he did! So, oh, no, there's no, I got to see it. There's no evidence, man. I got to see that car. He's going by Winkler. I know, Winkler rules here, yeah. You two of spades, congratulations, Darren Richnick, nice work. So now you gotta come back, yeah? I'll be back. And he was gonna come back anyways, thanks, Darren. Thank you, everybody, but he's coming back next year. Yeah, we're 50% of the Yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna announce the Top Youth Award. Do you know if we could get the Top Youth Award, there was only one team. That was team number two. They paid me back in April. That was awesome stuff. That was, they weighed 9.23 pounds. Like I lied. I said that they didn't do that well. They did awesome. 9.23 pounds. Darren and Cooper Zipre, come on up here. They've got a Mastercraft tool set, a rod and reel package, and a Minn Kota drift saw. Come on up here. Congratulations, guys. And, uh, yeah, come on over here. And uh, pose, pose in front of the, the GoPro. <laughs> the tools are for the mom, apparently. <laughs> and just get a po pose with Dino in front there. Cooper's already got the fancy Alumacraft hat we gave him there. Nice. Future Alumacraft owner. Nolan. All right. Mystery weight. Mystery weight. Yeah, we'll take a while. We'll just, we'll just, actually, yeah, we didn't get to do it. The Mr. Weight Prize is two Kickerfish Limited Edition hoodies and a $50 gift certificate to Paint Lake Lodge in the bar. And that counts as twice in here. The exchange rate is big in this thing, so it actually counts as 100. <laughs> We're only looking for 50. <laughs> and, like, what we did is, like, like, we do Mr. Weight. To be honest, we didn't draw Mr. Weight. Half of it because we forgot, half of it because we don't care. So we drew, everyone who's not in the top 10, boat 11 to 46, and then we drew it a while ago out of there, and we drew boat number 15. Brian and Joanne Yerke. Oh, there they are, they're here, awesome. 11.09 pounds they weighed today. They weighed 11.0, come on up here. 50, are you guys local as well? Are you from Thompson? They are, so they will make use of this, that's awesome. 
Get a picture. Get a picture. <laughs> get awesome. Gotta get a screenshot of that. Thank you. That's awesome stuff, guys. Thank you, Brian and Joanne. Your key. That's Ukrainian. Your Q. That's it. Yeah, close enough. Hey, your Q. All right. That's my cue to, to announce the Mixed Team Award. Like I said, we had 13. We had 13 teams, Mixed Team Award. And uh, we're going to call that the Bob's Auto and Towing Mixed Team Award of $1,000. We've got a check of $1,000. It was a tight race. I announced fifth place was 11.38. Fourth place was Daryl Murphy and Bridget Murphy at 11.98. Third place was Clint Bickle and Alex Bickle at 12.42. Second place at 12.77 was Christopher Lamy and Carly McLaughlin, meaning first place for $1,000 of the Mixed Team Award. They weighed 13.28 pounds, Jason, Toddy, and Amy Toddy. Where are they? Check for $1,000 there. Get a picture. That's big time over here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> They're having a good time over there at the back table. Thank you, guys. Awesome stuff. And now he's buying rounds for everybody. He's at the bar. Did I say top female team? Jason, I called you a female. For a thousand bucks, you let me call him anything. It's all good. <laughs> that was top mixed team. Top mixed team. We did have one all female team. Are they here? Is that all female team here? They actually are here. That is uh, Mary Ann and, and Alicia. Monique Braconier, right? An all female team. Like, that is not, like, you can go to Pine Falls that has 120 votes, and there's only one all female team there, if there is. And like round of applause for the ladies for that all-female team. What did you guys weigh, though? What did you weigh? Zero. They weighed zero. I, I, I saw I had to call you guys out here. But they caught 10 overs, though, right? They just didn't bring them in. Yes, that's what it was, all-female team. I'm buying you two ladies a glass of wine for that table. Get them up, whatever they're drinking. Whatever they're drinking, uh, hopefully it's water. It's on me. Good job, ladies. I encourage next year, if we have more ladies, lady teams, we are going to up that prize big time. That is going to be two glasses of water next year for sure. But, like, that is great to see, guys. Oh, oh, that's awesome stuff. We might even have a senior team. There was a lot. We're going to do, like, a 100 years combined thing or whatever. There's a lot of old buggers that I saw here or whatever. Wayne Landers could win that by himself. One, 100. He could win it by himself. Okay. So we have 10 prizes to give out, guys. 10 prizes. In 10th place, there was a tie. And in the rules, I checked it out myself. I didn't even... Tied for nine. But the winner of this, it's going to be a coin toss now. I did not put a tiebreaker rule. We didn't record Big Fish. So there is no other way to do this but to flip a coin. So Dino, my uh, Vanna White assistant, can you flip a coin here? Italian Stallion. I'm going to announce them first. There's the lucky loony right there. They weighed a weight of 12.60. 12.60 was a tie for ninth place. And that was Thomas Both and Darren Michnik. And Russell Boxel and Wayne Squarchock. Come on up, guys. Ninth and tenth. Come on up, guys. Wayne. Come on up here. I see your sexy mustache there, Wayne. Get over here, man. Come on up. So we have, we have, in ninth place, it's a Rapala package and two kicker fish hoodies. And, well, that was 10th. And, and ninth place is alcohol swag. Alcohol swag. These guys like that. And two tackle boxes. So we're going to flip a coin to see who gets to pick which one, right? Okay? okay. So we're going we're gonna to get the GNR here. Your call here. Okay, Rob Tom. Rob Tom. Home team. Home team. He's local too, friend, but he's too young. Good. Call it, call it in the, air. call it in the air. Call it in the air, guys. Tails, tails, he says. Tails. Okay, catch up. I don't want to. Give me twenty bucks. 
it's a, they're too, it's a loony. It's a, it's a, it's a bird, which is tails. Tails it is. So there, you guys, you can take either the Rappler package or the alcohol stuff there and uh, go there and pick. And it, the Rappler package is a Rappler cutting table, two shirts and two hats. And you're going to get pictures. We're going we're gonna to do a picture there together, or everybody. Like these guys are pretending they're not going to take the alcohol. <laughs> you guys are good. Grab that stuff. Get over and let's take a picture. Two tackle boxes and alcohol swag for ninth place and tenth place now as a result of the tiebreaker. Rappel of package, rappel of shirts, hats, kickerfish hoodies, Girton Marine flashlights, and a rappel of. Oh, we're gonna take a picture and a, a rappel of fillet board. Over here. Over here. Divine. Okay, guys, bitch think, let's go get in here. Let's get booted. It's tied. The picture's got to be all together, too. You might as well. No one's better than anybody else. Some people are just better looking. Do we coin flip? That's the other fella. Do we coin flip? Do better looking. Victor. Hey. I like, wait, wait, wait. Say a few words, man. I like to you. Where'd you guys catch all your fish? I can't tell you. Oh, nice, nice. Comments. I don't want to give away your 10th Where'd you catch all your South Grassy. Oh, he straight up lied, too. Okay. People are learning. That's what it is. You, just, you don't tell people where. Try asking Ed Hardigan where he caught his fish. You'll never get that, man, eh? Thank you, everybody. So grassy for him. There you go. Thank you, everybody. That's 10th and 9th place. I'm going to give 8th place here. 8th place, folks, is a three-night stay at Paint Lake Lodge to be used anytime. Three night stays for a grand total value of $17. What is, what is that? I don't know the dollar value of that, but it's a three-night stay. Barry gave that to us. He donated it. Kathy didn't even know. <laughs> He's giving away percentages in this business here. He's not even knowing. That's 12.75 pounds. It was very close. And two, two uh, Alumacraft hats and two thermal shirts, a girt and marine. 12.75. Boat number 28. Daryl Jarris and Omar Giroir. Round of applause for Daryl and Omer. You used to work with this guy in the mines? On midnight. Nice. I think he's still on midnight. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Good job. Good job, Omer. Get a picture with Dino there. You got to get the hat. Come on. We have Lumacraft hat. He's got a lunch shirt, and now you're giving him a Lumacraft hat. He's going to throw it in the garbage after. Maybe he'll, he'll change. Buy boat. My boat is for sale if anyone wants to buy it. It's a 185 competitor with a 150 Merc. I'm selling it for the cheap price of 45.9. That is at Girton. That is at Girton. Let me know. I'll give you a discount. 45.899 if you guys want for my boat. Seventh place. This was very close. So that was 12, 7, 5, and 8. By 0.2, 12.77 pounds of awesome Paint Lake Walleye. Cabela's package worth $450. We got two chaise chairs and two hunting, filleting, table things you can attach a hose to. That is Christopher Lamy and Carly McLaughlin, 12.77. Come on up. There you are. There you are. Here we go. Awesome. Come on in. Congratulations, guys. Nice work. Come on in. Take a picture with these over here. Oh, yeah. Not the same last name. Are you guys married? Married? No? Not yet. Break this in here. Let's get a proposal here. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> she almost crossed it her mom when they saw that. Get a picture. Who caught all the fish on this team? She did. That's the right answer. It's like you're married already, brother. Good job. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. It is the truth, though. Not even lying. That's why you bring the wife. My wife and I won Falcon Lake Walleye Masters Cup in June. And out of the five fish that we weighed, we weighed five fish, is it four? It's five. I'm just making this up as I go on. We watch. She weighed most of them anyway, that's for sure. We upgraded all. She weighed like four out of the five fish, something like that. So thanks to her. So they do catch fish. Partner up with your wives or lady friends. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Awesome stuff. Take those. Yeah, you can take them with you now or whatever. Yeah, they're big. We have to lug those in. It's not our problem now. They keep them in Thompson. <laughs> have to carry those up and down stairs and stores. No one would help me at that store. But they donated it, so I can't badmouth them. 
I think I just did. Sixth place, everybody, 13.15 pounds. 13.15, I think that was like the leader at 1.2. And this guy was jumping up and down. One of these guys was partying it up last night. So that could be a key to a top 10 victory is party hard. Party hard, I'm looking at him, he's smiling. 13.15, winning two, what are they called, Webster's? Just t-shirts for those guys, because we don't like them. Weber's, two Weber barbecues valued at over $600. We got Josh Bedford and Mark Caddy. Come on up. Yeah, they had some good fish in their bag there. We thought that weight might hold. Congratulations, guys. Nice work, nice work. Oh, look at him, he's got the beer in his hand. Party never ends with this guy. Get up, pick, pick them up, we'll take a picture. Six. 
Chad Redman and Keith Redman. Congratulations, come on up. Congratulations. Which one are you? You're Chad? Keith? Where is Chad? No. Oh. There you go. Yeah. Good job. He doesn't have a lunch shirt, so I like him better already. And the chair. We'll, we'll go in the chair. Someone sit down. Let, let the senior one sit down. No. Yeah, there's a picture for That was third place. Thank you very much to the Brick as well for helping out with that prize. So that leaves a couple votes left. If you had more weight than 13.69, you're still in the running here for first place. In second place with a prize from Calm Air. Anywhere Calm Air flies. So from here, I wouldn't fly to Mid-Lake or something. I would use it to go fly to wherever, Rankin Inlet. You can go anywhere. There is no stipulations on it. Stipulation is it has to be a, the people who win it have to fly. Husband and wife, it is. It's a, they should have won top male, female, but uh, <laughs> I won't go there. <laughs> I'm not going there. But they're going to go on a trip together, it looks like here. 14.51 pounds and $1,000 cash to Devin Gurniak and Ed Hardigan. I hear some boos in the crowd here. I hear some boos. Let me amplify them. Boo! But thank you so much. This is awesome stuff here. They were vote number one today. I was on Facebook Live. We didn't give the third place guys plaques. Go back and sell. Oh, we'll do it together. Wait, we got plaques as well. We got plaques that we got made in Winnipeg, second place, Northern Mount of Ola Junction. Very beautiful. One each right there. Where are you guys flying to together? Uh, probably Laker fishing. Lake. There's no Lakers at Rankin Inlet or Winnipeg. We can get up there somewhere. Hey, awesome stuff. Polar bears. Go see polar bears or something. Okay, we'll get a picture. Let's get a picture. Yeah. Chad Redmond here. Why is that? Let's say Chad Redmond. We saw too many people who wanted your picture. We didn't, we didn't give you guys your plaques. I'll give you a picture. We didn't even give the top mix team their plaques. They got plaques, Neil. Oh, sorry. We're in the chat. Okay, there we go. Take a picture. Picture fix. I'm tippy toe. Awesome. All right. Jason and Amy, we forgot to give you your plaques. Jason and Amy, we forgot those. They, they, they're gone. They went to go cash those checks already. They, know, they are celebrating in the back of the truck now. Where are they? they go, oh, there they are. Sorry, guys. Jeff, can you give them their plaques? Let's see where they are. My wife is yelling at me. <laughs> awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Oh, you guys got, got plaques. Dino, can you pass them there? We forgot to give them there. We had, oh, and there's Bob's, Bob's towing on there as well. Mix team, yeah. Let's get a quick picture. Dino's reached his limit of pictures. After that, I got to start paying him after for photo. First place with a ridiculous bag of 16.12 pounds. They will be taking home a boat and motor and trailer package worth over $10,000 of these 16. Oh, Dino. Oh, he's calling. <laughs> Louis Graf Boats, Nickel City Motors, Evan Rood, Kicker Fish came together to bring this package together. The Northern Manitoba Walleye Challenge. Everybody, please. Give a big round of applause. You might even give him a standing ovation. This is a hell of a vote. Glenn Boxel and Troy Nelson, vote number nine. Congratulations. Another round of applause, that's awesome stuff, man. That's gonna be it.
That's going to be a tough one to be the first one of the first inaugural tournament. And oh, there's a camera mic. Ask. Just so you know, Glenn and Troy, man, I'm coming for that title next year for sure. Take that away. Keeping the trophy in Thompson. We're going to bring it down to Winnipeg. That's a great trophy, too. Congratulations, guys. Well done. Everyone, thank you again for all your support. We will definitely be back next year. This was a lot of fun. A heck of a lot of fun, man. Let's, uh, let's have a good time here. Thank you.